everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is a very common one. It is called ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is also known by its brand names, which are Advil and Motrin. It falls under the class of NSAIDs and antipyretics. So let's take a moment and talk about the mechanism of action. Ibuprofen is a cyclooxygenase enzyme inhibitor, and there are two types of cyclooxygenase. There's the COX1, which is the abbreviation for cyclooxygenase, and COX2. COX1 is actually already in the body, and one of its many responsibilities is that protection of the stomach lining or the gastric mucosa. And then COX2 is not readily available in the body. It is secreted whenever there's an injury. And these two enzymes are responsible for the production of prostaglandin. And just like in our Toradol video, prostaglandin is that hormone-like substance that is secreted at the site of an injury and it, it causes inflammation and pain. So ibuprofen goes in and it blocks the COX1 and COX2 enzymes and prevents or slows down the production of prostaglandin. And without the production of prostaglandin, we'll have less inflammation and ultimately pain. Your indications are going to be acute pain and also fever in adults and also in pediatric patients that are over six months old. And as always, before we get into our dosages, always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your adult dose will be 10 milligrams per kilogram, and this will be up to 800 milligrams taken PO. And your IV dose will be 400 milligrams to 800 milligrams over 30 minutes. Your pediatric dose, very same as the adult dose, 10 milligrams per kilogram up to 800 milligrams. And this is only in patients that are older than six months. Your IV dose will be 10 milligrams per kilogram IV over 30 minutes. And between dosages, at least six hours needs to go by. Your contraindications are allergies to NSAIDs, GI bleeds, bleeding disorders, disorders, traumatic injuries that are resulting in external or internal bleeding, renal failure and impairment, pregnancy, coagulation defects, and asthma. And when I say asthma, I'm specifically talking about the type of asthma, like aspirin intolerant asthma. And typically this is what happens in patients that are allergic to or intolerant of NSAIDs. And these type of patients usually know that they have this type of reaction, but I just wanted to make that clear because there are asthmatics that can take ibuprofen. Adverse reactions of ibuprofen can include drowsiness, headache, uh, GI bleed, vasodilation, dyspepsia, diarrhea, stomach pain, and nausea. Drug interactions is basically just extended bleeding time in those who have already taken NSAIDs or other anticoagulants. It's most commonly supplied in 200 milligram tablets or your prescription strength 800 milligram tablets. And your IV solutions are 400 milligrams in 4 milliliters or 800 milligrams in 8 milliliters. Leaders. There's also an oral suspension for your pediatric patients based on weight. A few side notes about ibuprofen. It is a good option for those patients that are in pain but have a history of drug abuse or narcotic addiction. That's basically because it, it really is a good option for those patients, especially patients who have had a history of drug addiction and they don't want to take a narcotic in fear of a relapse or something like that. Ibuprofen is a good option if they meet all the criteria. It is also a medication that patients do not need to rely on for for chronic pain. And this is not because it's addictive like narcotics, but it's very hard on your kidneys and it just is indicated for acute pain. Make sure the patient has eaten prior to taking ibuprofen. Kind of like I mentioned with the cyclooxygenase 1 enzyme, so it is responsible for your stomach lining. Well, if you take ibuprofen, it puts your stomach at risk for GI bleeds. So definitely make sure your patient has something in their stomach before they take ibuprofen. This is not used for patients in pain from traumatic injuries with internal or external bleeds. So this is an inset. We do not want to give it for patients with bleeding. Also using caution with your elderly and those renally impaired. Remember guys, as always, abide by your local protocol and follow your scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye.